Hello and welcome back guys to Ironworks Productions. Obviously, as you can see, this video will be different today. We are going to be doing a toy review of the Transformers Kingdom Optimus Primal. And I have some things to say about this figure. It is awesome. I love it. I love the fur uh, texture that they have on this figure. I love the robot... I just love like the robotic details on him. They are just like wow. And honestly, this is my first Beast Wars figure, so obviously I'm I I'm hyped about this. I love this thing. I was so excited the first time I saw this thing. I was like, I have to get it. I have to get it. I have to get it. But is it worth it though? It is. Um, but articulation, he has a swivel in the arm. It can bend out that far. Um, he has, oh, he has his finger articulation. And his hand can also swivel. Swivel right here. The legs can sort of bend out, um, in a way but just want to be careful with the because you could chip the paint right there if you're not careful so a little heads up to you um his knee can bend back bend forward uh he has some ankle articulation that's always nice and in a way i guess depending he also has like some kind of toe articulation uh both on both like sides of the feet but, ah, there we go. Accessories, obviously, he's holding them. Um, I did not choose to, like, take them off when I was, when I did this. Um, but, he comes with the Cybertronian swords that he has in the show. Which, I think they are sculpted awesomely. And, I love the silver paint that they chose. Um, let's see. We're gonna remove the swords now. Now, let's see, another thing that the bot mode can do before we move on to transformation is, let's see, um, it can't, it has, well, heavy artillery on the figure. I don't have that, I don't want to particularly scratch the paint off this, I'm not sure if it's paint or if it's just black plastic, either way I don't want to risk it, so I'm just going to be using an eraser to pop it out. But it comes with arm cannons that he has. And that goes on both sides. So all you have to do is just push on this. Just push it. Ah, there you go. And um, if you want even more heavy artillery, then besides that, you can pop out his neck. And there should be like arm cannons. Um, let's see if I can. By the way, they're oh, focus. They are stored right there. If you could see that black or dark bluish type of thing. After you do that, you just pull that up and boom. Let's see if we can get them into a nice action pose. Okay, in a way this works. This works for a nice action pose. Um, blast effects are compatible with this. Siege, Earthrise, or 86. But yeah, they are compatible. So you just pop those blast effects in there. Or you could also pop them in here. Depending on what blast effects you have, they may go in there nicely or not, depending. But honestly, this looks pretty cool. 
I have to give that figure that. What I'm a little disappointed for bot mode is that it doesn't have like one of those siege ports. Where, you know, it looks like the robot got hit. Or something along those lines. Um, but I can live with it. It's not a big major deal. Now, time to switch into gorilla mode. Okay, so, and by the way, you could also leave this out for the shoulder cannons for gorilla mode, but I don't want to do that. So, flip out the head, push that back in, then you're going to flip the chest around. Then, this next part gets, is easy, just push down his, soldier, his uh, shoulder pads. Then what you're going to do is you're going to articulate the leg. Oh, forgot, one last thing pushing the feet so okay i gotta be careful with mine because stuff but yeah i'm gonna get him into a standing position i'm sorry if i'm not explaining the art the way how to transform this thing i do apologize okay and one last part and behold the King Kong of Transformers, Optimus Primal in his gorilla mode. I love this. I love, I can't say it enough. I love the fur detail. I just love how they just did the sculpting realism. Or try to make th this like real. To look as close to the animal the, of the gorilla. It just looks really cool. I just can't stop going on about that. But, and honestly, it looks, in my opinion, I think it looks better than the ma Masterpiece figure. Which some of you may get get mad about that, um, but it's my opinion. And besides him standing it up, of course, as a gorilla, he can also go back into, or do like, I wouldn't say like a, Stand it like I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Flip out his feet. You can have him go into like a natural gorilla pose, pretty much. <laughs> okay. Okay, come on, primal. There we go. And here. Now we're going to lower the, my camera. Okay. And yes, this figure, I just, I love it. No questions asked. I love this thing. Um, for like the $30 price point that this thing is at, I definitely would recommend it. Um, if you, if you can't afford the MP, what, 36? But if you can't afford that figure, this is a nice alternative actually for like $30. I love this thing. Yeah, one last thing before I close the, close the video, um... You could store his weapons. I know that this it review is a bit of a mess. Um, but there's two little slots that you could store the weapons on. But, but yeah, final thoughts. Love this figure. Get it if you can. That'll be it. And goodbye. And thank you for watching.